Good morning, Christian Bean here. If you don't have parental controls on your child's smartphone, you may want to put those on after watching our story this morning. That's because cybercrime experts say more children and teens are using what's called vault apps. They're apps that look totally legit and innocent, but they're actually secret hiding places for photos. And those experts say many of those photos are illegal. This appears to be a calculator. What is that? That's a calculator. It will even do math. If I said 2 plus 3 equals 5. Yeah, I'd say you have a calculator. But punch in the right password, and you can secretly store photos inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, photos. I would, I would never known that at all, yeah. What? That's the app? Hiding as a calculator? Wow, I had no idea. I never knew it existed. These so-called vault apps are nothing new, but now they're getting more sophisticated. Some look like games, others pretend to be email, and many have false front doors that lead nowhere. When the parents go away and I type in my passcode, all of a sudden, through the exact same app, I've got my secret photos. Eric Tamashevsky heads up cyber crimes for the St. Joseph County Sheriff's Department. He says it's impossible, even for tech-savvy parents, to keep up with this type of technology. The problem, teens could be using these apps to store inappropriate and illegal pictures. You take these pictures, it's manufacture. You send them to somebody else, it's distribution. The kids get them, they keep them. It's possession. And another scary problem, if those private photos make their way to the web, they're impossible to take back. So what do parents do? Being able to recognize the vault apps is, is a function of Google and experience. Parents are going to get notifications for everything the kid downloads. They have to Google them all. Don't assume that DigiCalc is simply a calculator and your kid has an affinity for math. Google it and you'll find out what it is. It's a lot more than just plus, minus, subtraction, division. They're adding stuff to the phone, but it, it's not numbers. The parents we talked to say they will do more checking. Did you learn anything? I certainly did. Yeah, that's kind of scary, but thank you. I'm glad you told me this. Yeah. You learn something every day. Hopefully, it's not too late. We've got to make sure that the parents understand the kids are all going to screw up. When we were young, we screwed up. But we still want the kids to be comfortable turning to their parents and not turning away from them. And Tamashaski says you really should talk to your kids about privacy settings and those types of controls on some of these apps. Because a lot of these apps are controlled by companies that are overseas, so the photos you think are private could actually be used and seen by others. Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.